IBM, we are interested to understand how the magnetic properties evolve from the individual atom to something that might be useful for a technology for data storage. We as an industry have been following for many years this trend that we now call Moore's Law, where we exponentially shrink the components down by a small factor every year. Now what we are allowed to do in this laboratory here is we're allowed to jump to the ultimate end and start with single atoms and build structures one atom at a time. In this breakthrough, what we have done is we have stored magnetic information in only 12 atoms. We have this specialized tool that allows us to investigate the properties of single atoms and small clusters of these atoms. And now for the first time, we've actually seen that these 12 atoms behave like a stable magnetic unit. So a current computer hard drive, for example, stores information in a large number of magnetic atoms. And all these magnetic atoms act together to make one bit of magnetic information. And so if we can scale down, then we correspondingly get an, a much larger density or much larger number of bits in our disk drive or in our computer. Here you see a representation of a single magnetic bit consisting of 12 atoms that we built with a scanning tunneling microscope on this surface. The tip of the scanning tunneling microscope can also be used to switch the magnetic information on this bit from a 0 to a 1 or from a 1 to a 0. Now we're zooming out from the single bit to 8 bits, which makes one byte, which is, the, which is the next bigger unit of information in a computer. A byte, for example, can store all the characters that you have in the alphabet and all the numbers that go on. If we zoom out further, then you can see that we can put many of these bytes next to each other. In this example here, we have five of those, and they store different information in them. In this case, the letters T, H, I, N, K. In this size comparison to existing technology, you can appreciate how much smaller this atomic scale magnetic data storage could be and how much more information you could store in the same space on your drive. So this is actually a testament to IBM's investment in R&D. IBM did not become a 100-year-old company by doing the same thing over and over again. We're constantly innovating. And in fact, there is so much encouragement to innovate uh, this has become a place where the innovation engine is very, very vibrant. And what you're seeing here today is one of many outcomes from our investment in research, long-term investment in research. Uh, and so we are actually very proud to kind of uh, showcase our ability to invest in research. And then from time to time, we get this opportunity to show the world what investment in research can bring to a company.